Hi everyone, it has been a while since I did a video, so I thought I would kind of um, catch you all up on what's been going on. Um, Ableize is going so incredible. Um, we are growing like crazy and uh, we're actually looking to hire. Um, so if you know anyone that's looking for something that can be pretty flexible, um, and really, we're, we're looking for people all over the country, so um, anywhere would be great. So, um, but I want to just kind of clear up a few things as far as still, I still get some questions about like what is Ableize. So I'm going to try and explain um, what it is and why it's good for businesses. So what we do is we are providing 360 virtual tours of public spaces um, as an accessibility tool. So for somebody that is a wheelchair user, or somebody that might have anxiety, or somebody on the spectrum, it, it might be helpful to see what those spaces look like before actually visiting them. So we are finding businesses that are um, understanding and willing and excited to be a part of this movement with us. Um, and what we do is we go to their business, um, we provide a virtual tour, which is typically funded by the business, um, but then it's also a marketing tool for those businesses. So literally, if you have a business or you work at a business that people walk into at all, you could benefit, your business could benefit from Ableize. So um, one of the slides that I go through when I meet with people um, these are just some of the types of locations that we've done. Restaurants, doctor and dentist offices, um, stores and shopping centers, libraries, uh, schools and colleges, parks, theme parks, fairgrounds, vacation destinations and hotels, uh, hospitals and rehab centers, places of employment, and field trip locations. So um, I know that I have a lot of teacher followers out there, and so I'll, for example, Sorry, there's a little bit of a reflection off my light up there. Um, when I was in the classroom, having working with students on the spectrum, uh, sometimes that disruption in routine would cause some anxiety in the classroom. And so we did a lot of work ahead of time to try and prepare students for the upcoming field trip. Um, we'd print out pictures and make social stories and talk about it weeks and weeks ahead of time so that students were getting prepared to knowing that we we're going to be disrupting our regular schedule. So um, this is an example of a great uh, field trip location. This is Abrams Planetarium. It's on the MSU campus. And I know that they do a lot of, uh, you know, that's a really common place for schools to visit. Um, so as you can see, somebody could, if you have a smart board in your classroom, you could be going through this tour with your students a week ahead of time, two weeks ahead of time, just to say this is what it looks like. Um, and then it's not moving for me. Um, and then one of the things that we do for, um, if you have a student that is a wheelchair user, uh, we go into the bathrooms on most of our tours. So um, if this one is a great example. It goes all the way back into the handicap stall. So um, if the accessibility in the handicap stall is an issue and can be challenging, uh, you can see that they have a beautifully roomy handicap stall. So hopefully I cleared this up a little bit for some of you. Um, like I said, if you own a business, if you work for a business, or know somebody who works at a business that people walk into, um, this is something that could be a really amazing tool for the business and for their potential customers. It is inexpensive. I'm just gonna come out there and say it is not super expensive. So do not be intimidated because it looks fancy and techy. Um, so if you know somebody, please have them reach out to me. Uh, my email is megan, M-E-E-G-A-N, at ableeyes.org. A B L E E Y E S dot org. Um, and I would love to come chat with any business owner, or I've, I've been doing a lot of presenting to education groups. And um, so, if there's a larger group that could benefit from learning more about what we do, I'm happy to do that as well. So, well, thanks so much for listening. Have a great day.